everyone thank you so much for tuning into my channel and for today's video I am going to teach you how to live on Facebook using multiple cameras and uh, uh, with the help of OBS or the open broadcasting software and um, uh, if you're new to my channel please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel and um, without further ado let's start now so the first thing that you will do is to download the application called uh, IP Webcam from the Play Store from the um, Android Market, and uh, I'll show you <coughs> it on my screen. Okay, so this is the IP Webcam. I have downloaded it from um, Google uh, Play. Uh, this is for Android. I'm not sure if you have this IP webcam on your Apple uh, Apple devices, so you may try as long as you have this IP IP webcam. So uh, next is we will adjust the settings. So for you not to log or buff or have problems with your um, live streaming on Facebook. You have to set your video resolution to uh, 1920 by 720. Well, I know, 1280 by 720, and the quality should be 1. So it doesn't matter. Um, the quality is 1. If the quality is 1, it, it will not affect your video resolution so it's okay to make your resolution higher as long as the quality is one so that you won't have any problems with your live streaming especially if your internet connection is not so um uh, fast like that okay so let's back and then you go through the start server here on the bottom part wait i'll show it to you this one so if you can see the start server here and then clicked it and then so as you can see yes this is the office and if you can see the the IP uh, web web address here just copy and paste it to your uh, Google Chrome so you go through your uh, Google Chrome here Wait a second. And then search for the IP uh, address here. Paste it on your, or search it on your, um, what do you call this? Uh, Google Chrome. So for me, it's 192. 192, okay, it's already has been detected, but let's just change it to three so 192.168.1.3 then 8080 okay okay so let's say that you already have connected with your mobile phone to your uh, to, lap to your laptop using the IP, IP webcam and then let's edit the settings you can edit the stream quality here for my internet connection, since it's not so fast and it's not so good, so I set the stream quality to 20 to 25, so that would be okay as long as you can see the face of the person um, in the camera. Next thing that you will do is uh, go through the full screen mode and then go back to your, and then go back to your OBS and then click the sources and then you add window capture device and that would be uh, my phone so my phone is vivo 1902 and then on the window you add chrome.exe like that and then resize the the camera by pressing the alt button and then drag and resize the camera size Okay, <laughs> my face is so big. <laughs> okay, so this is my phone camera, which is Vivo. Okay, so for our next camera, I am going to use my 
Supremo Comcast uh, camera and I have connected it using a cable wire on my charger using my charger and then uh, we will add and connect it to my OBS okay so how are we going to add it just click on the sources and then click video capture device and then we'll name it as Supremo and then click OK and then from the device you choose UVC camera click OK then resize okay so this is our second camera and okay so for our third and last camera i am going to use my um hp webcam from my laptop so we will go uh, to our sources click the plus button and then click video capture device and we will name it as hp And then uh, from the device here, we will use the HP True Vision HD camera. Click OK and drag it down or drag it to the place you want to place it. So that's it, guys. That's how easy you can um, you can uh, add uh, multiple cameras using the OBS. So I hope you've learned something from this video. So if you did, please give me a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a great day. Goodbye.